This is part two of the Marlin 795 automatic bolt release modification. So we've already taken the action down this far. We need to take our spring. And the general idea is we're going to get this spring to go around the detent spring assembly here. It's going to encompass it. And we're going to straighten out the two ends of our new spring. One end is going to go right up in here. You can see there's a little scratches right there because I've already done this. One end is going to set, sit in there. The other end is going to come out and come through this window and sit down in this area. And what that's going to do is give some tension so that when it's in the up position, the bolt will normally be pushing. Once it gets pushed to the up position, the bolt will hold it there. But when you pull back on the charging handle and there's no magazine or a fresh magazine is inserted, the spring tension is going to push it down into the bolt release sec uh, position. And then when you let go of the bolt, it's going to go forward. One thing to mention again about these springs is it does take a little bit of trial and error to find exactly the right type of spring and the tension it needs. Uh, you need the tension to be strong enough to push this down, but weaker than the spring tension in the magazine. This nub right here is actually what pushes up the bolt catch when it's empty. Watch the bolt catch will go upward. Now it's in the up position. So we need a spring strong enough to push this back down, but not so strong that it overrides that spring. Again, this is the Menards Handy Pack Part 88260. All right. We can work on this spring. First, we're going to cut it so that it's not too much wider than this part here, so it sits in there nice. And then we're going to bend out the two ends of it so that we can work with those. This is where some needle nose pliers and some vice grips come in handy. Let's see. Go ahead and kind of cut this. I'll cut it a little wide because we can always cut it down. It's hard to put the spring back on. There we go. An extra piece we can put aside. You can see it's a little wider, but when we compress it in there, that'll just help it to stay in place. So that's okay. Now we just need to bend out this end and this end. Well, this end's already kind of bent out. That's pretty easy. The linesman's pliers make a nice flat section. Bend that out a little bit. We'll have to do some more. This side's a little bit more difficult. Sometimes you can get it with the pliers, sometimes you have to use the vice grips. Got it started. Let's see. There we go. So we're getting started. We want to bend one side out pretty long, probably half an inch to three quarters of an inch. That's going to go into the window here. The other side doesn't have to be quite as long, maybe just a quarter of an inch to three eight, uh, half an inch. That's going to hold in there. Keep grabbing and bending out. I think that's pretty good for the one side. And that looks pretty good for the other. Another thing to note about these springs is it's important that the spring have a counterclockwise wind. Here's the spring when I cut it. Uh, if you look at this free end, if you follow it, it goes in a counterclockwise way. That's very important. A clockwise wind will not give us the tension where we need it. Now while you're here, you can bend it back the end of the short end that we're going to use over here. You can see it's going to sit in there roughly like this. We can bend the short end back a little bit forward that way to help really engage and lock in there. It's easier to do this bending before you put the spring on because then you don't have a lot of room to work with. Try to get a good grip. Let me 
a little bend. We'll start with that. And the bottom section, we'll leave that bend until we get it in there because we might have to adjust this length. All right. Now we need this new spring to sit around this detent here. That's easy to pull out. You can either use a flathead screwdriver and push it in here and pull down, or you can grab the top of that with some needle nose pliers. As you start to pull it towards you, you'll see it come out the bottom. You can just grab that with your fingers and pull. You can see I can move that out of the way. All right. The new spring we're going to install, again, we want that small end that we kind of bent a little bit to be on this side over here. So just get the head of it around the detent. Once you get it all in there, you can let go of the detent. You can see when I let go of it, it didn't go all the way back in, which means it's not seated correctly. That's not too bad. You can just move it around with your finger or with a screwdriver if you need to. I was able to move it with my finger and now it's seated in there. A way you can check that is you should have should be able to hold in position up or down with the bolt catch release. You'll feel a little tension when it's moving. And you can look in between here and actually see the head of it coming out. All right. So next what we're going to do is get this in place. Again, this end is going to reside there. This end is going to come around and come out that window. We'll do that in part three.